it is a beautiful M140i, blue with black wheels. Yep, yeah, that one. So the draggy is ready, I am ready, the car is ready. The B58 inline six right here. The best bolt hatch ever made. What's up ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max, and today we've got a very special one. The car is not that special, although it is a beautiful M140i, blue with black wheels, absolutely lovely. But the owner of this car is really special because he is the previous owner of our M135i. And so when his son contacted us via Instagram and said, hey, I recognized our old car. We have an M140i right now. Would you like to meet up and maybe make a video with our car? Of course we said yes. So here we are with this gorgeous M140i. I'm going to drive it and sort of see the differences between this and an M135i and see what has changed with the new engine and well, how it drives. So I'll walk around it. Um, we've got the M Sport brakes, of course, some beautiful black wheels at the front. Well, it is, it looks a little bit softer than an M135i, I would say. It is a little bit sleeker at the front. Um, it has a different front bumper design. It has a different light unit. And it has different rear lights. I think it also has, yes, it definitely has a different rear bumper. And of course, it has a different engine. So we've got the B58 inline six right here. Twin power turbo with 340 horsepower and 500 newton meters. Uh, so that's a little bit more powerful than the N55 you find in a M135i. But the power difference isn't the biggest difference with this car. The main difference between this and an M135i is the smoothness and the suppleness of this drivetrain as well as this chassis and the suspension setup. It feels like quite a big step compared to the M135i. And that's something you might not expect um, because they look relatively similar. Although, you know, this is a little bit more rounded and a little bit less chunky than the M135i. But it feels completely different from the moment you sit in it and drive off you immediately notice that you're driving something different here. So we've got the engine. Yep, that's nice and warm. We'll do a draggy zero to 100 test to check it out. It should do 4.6. So we'll go to sport for the gearbox, sport plus for the driving mode get the phone mount up so the draggy is ready i am ready the car is ready foot on the brake full throttle launch control there we go 4.9 little bit of wheel spin we'll try that one more time better no that's not better how is that possible that felt faster okay whatever uh, 4.6 is should be able to do it by the way if you want one of these GPS performance meters go check it out in our store so another cool thing to think about is the new M1 35i compared to this one I'm guessing you've all seen the new 1 Series uh, photos and videos dropped this week while, you know, when I'm recording this and well, it is a little bit different than we were hoping and expecting or at least I was hoping and expecting. It's a lot different. It's almost like a, an X2 which I don't know if that's a good thing. I'll, I'll, I'll let that up to you and I'll let you decide for yourself if you like it or not. But 
the fact is that the new M135i only has a four cylinder. It has the B48 with 306 horsepower. So this M140i is probably, and I can say that with almost 100% certainty, the last BMW hatchback with a six cylinder and the new one has X drive. So it's also the last rear wheel drive one, uh, which both of those things are a big deal. So what should you do? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if these last M140i's that have been produced with very low mileage are actually going to go up in value because I would prefer this car over the new one. I mean, I would choose this one in a heartbeat. Like it wouldn't be, it wouldn't even be a, a choice. I would just say, yeah, that one. So that's also pretty interesting, driving this car, knowing that the next one will not have a six cylinder. Although it's weird that they went from the M140i to the M135i. So maybe there's another thing coming. I don't know, maybe, maybe they're saving it. Maybe a six cylinder is coming, but the rear wheel drive definitely is not because it is a front wheel drive platform. So they can change it to X drive, but they cannot change it to rear wheel drive. So that's a big deal. And it sort of made us a bit nostalgic. And at that moment, the owner of this car contacted us and we thought, yeah, let's, let's, let's go and drive it. Let's go and see what the difference is compared to our car and and let's relish in the goodness that is the M140i. Because my god, what a car. This, this is definitely a step up from our M135i. It feels so much smoother and that B58, that engine is so, so lovely. You do, you really do feel that it's a generation up, that like it's a, it's a later gen. Because the way this thing delivers its power and torque, it's silky. Whereas the M135i is a little bit ham-fisted compared to this. It's the violinist versus the drummer smoothness and suppleness versus the hammer but it is very cool to drive them back to back and to experience the progress of these cars because let's be honest this is probably the best hot hatch ever made and I'm doubting anything will ever surpass this as the perfect hot hatch you know if you look at everything if you look at price power fun equipment styling i think this maybe maybe that's my personal opinion maybe you guys are watching this and are thinking what the frick is he talking about um let me know in the comments if you agree with me but look at it this way you know you have you have these much more powerful cars like the Audi RS3, like the new A45 AMG that's going above 400 horsepower. Sure, that's all fun and fast and cool, but nothing really beats rear wheel drive and a six cylinder, if you ask me. Yeah, maybe a V8 and rear wheel drive or a V10 and rear, of course, but in a hatchback, I think this is this is the peak. This is our peak. I think it's not going to get any better than this. That's why we said, sure, we'll drive your car. Because it's always fun to drive them. This car, by the way, also has a different version of the ZF 8-speed gearbox than ours. Uh, so this can actually handle a little bit more torque. The owner told me that uh, this one can actually handle 500 Newton meters and ours 450, but Ours has 600 newton meters and works fine. So maybe there's some margin in that as well. 
So that's it for this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little short, I don't know, you sort of follow my, my brain and just ride with me. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one. And big thanks to the owner, of course. Bye.